EF0s to EF5s, tornadoes range in all shapes and sizes. That's right, tornadoes can range in strength from an EF0 to EF5 on the enhanced Fujita scale. And Kansas has had more EF5s than any other state, 14 to date, making Kansas one of the most fatality prone places in the world, according to the National Weather Center. There were 94 tornadoes in Kansas last year, Missouri had 80. So let's put these numbers in perspective and look into the science of a tornado and how it forms. Meteorologist George Waldenberger has more on this. Storm chasers look at forecasts on severe weather just about every day so they can get an idea of where thunderstorms that may produce tornadoes will pop up. They hunt them. It's a tough job because tornadoes are elusive, they're unpredictable, and they move fast. And it's for that reason that there's still much unknown about tornadoes, but scientists are learning. And over the past few years, we're learning more. Oh, they're no. destructive. Oh, no, 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 no. Winds can reach up to 300 miles per hour. Oh, no. They can happen anytime, just about oh, no. anywhere. But how much do we really know about tornadoes? It's a cylinder um, that sucks up things from the earth. It essentially just happens as high pressure, I believe, comes over the top and low comes underneath. And uh, no, no, it's the opposite, actually. Uh. There are tornado clouds. They look like biscuits up in the sky. So when there's going to be a tornado, you can you can often see it. It just spins around. Uh, you'll see debris, you know, kind of spinning up in the air. And While these college students aren't quite sure, scientists have questions of their own. We know quite a bit. We do, but uh, there are uh, a number of things we don't know about tornadoes uh, as well. Let's start with the basics. A tornado is defined as a violently rotating column of air. It's the most intense of all atmospheric circulations, and it must touch the ground to be considered a tornado. It hangs from the base of a thunderstorm cloud, but there's certain types of thunderstorms that seem to be the best tornado producers. And what makes supercell thunderstorms unique is that the entire storm is rotating. Supercell thunderstorms, they build upwards of 60,000 feet high. Within these towers, strong updrafts can travel over 100 miles per hour, all caused from warm and humid air from near the ground rising through the cold air aloft. If there's enough rotation near the base of the supercell, this updraft takes over. If you take a tube of rotating air and kind of stretch it, um, it becomes skinnier. Okay, and so it's like an ice skater folding it, bringing in his or her arms. It starts to spin faster and faster. The result? One in five supercells produces a tornado. The question is, why do some supercells produce tornadoes and others don't? We've got uh, some downdrafts here. The answer may lie within a downward stream of air in the backside of the storm. Observational studies point to the importance of this downdraft, that you need this downdraft to um, instigate uh, tornado formation. Now, there we go. We've got a tornado. This By is circulating air back into the thunderstorm, the downdraft may be able to direct rotation near the surface, playing a large role in tornado genesis. Meteorologist George Waldenberger, NBC Action News. Now, when it comes to severe weather, we have you covered in a number of ways. Yeah, we're catching up with technology, of course, on air with the television. The moment severe weather is in the area, we are on TV providing the very latest on the threat. And, of course, we go online. NBCActionNews.com has just launched TornadoAlleyLive.com. There, you track storm chasers on the road following severe weather and possible tornado outbreaks, plus the chance for a chase forecast where you can find out the possible chances for severe weather that day and so much more. Go to TornadoAlleyLive.com. And don't forget about our weather blog on NBCActionNews.com. We provide you with up-to-the-minute updates on the weather pattern in your area. And, of course, on the phone, we send out weather alerts. At the moment, a watch or warning is issued. All you have to do is sign up for those alerts on our NBC Action News website, NBCActionNews.com slash alerts.